I've got two news, a good one and a bad one. The good news is that Jandel guitars finally came to Acoustic Union in all of its glory. And they're going to fill this entire shelf. We prepared it just specially for Jandel only. Uh, it's going to be full, absolutely full with guitars. And there is more than 100 guitars here. Can you believe it? 100. <laughs> Have you ever seen 100 guitars in one place before? More than 30 different models, actually. So there's going to be huge. And I also have bad news. And the bad news is that my main tool for the next few hours, I guess, will be the knife and not the pick, which is quite sad. But, you know, life sometimes gives you lemons, so you have to cope with it somehow. And I'm going to start coping it with this one, a set Classic. And this is actually a really good one to start because this uh, going back to the roots. Let me show you a little bit about the company itself, the Jandel Guitars. This is actually a company founded by Leo Fender, probably the greatest guitar inventor, uh, electric guitar inventor to be specific, of all times. This is the guy who founded uh, Fender Guitars, Fender Musical Instruments in 1946 and created legendary Telecaster, Stratocaster, Jazzmaster, P bass, J bass, all this crazy stuff, Fender Rolls piano, Fender Twin Reverb, this all of his works. And I'm sure most of you know that uh, later, Leo sold this company, sold Fender in 1965 for astonishing $13 million to CBS Corporation. As soon as Leo left the company, some weird stuff started to happen. And this wasn't the Fenders everybody was used to. Uh, later on, he started to work in uh, Music Man, but this is, wasn't for, for a long time because his old friend, George Fullerton, the man who been working with him in Fender since the very beginning, and actually George Fullerton is the man who created the shape of Stratocaster, he said, Leo, you're goddamn guitar god, so let's make a new company together. And so they did, and they named it Jandel, which means George and Leo, George Fullerton and Leo Fender two guys who created the history of electric guitars. And this one actually goes back to the root. This Telecaster, as they call it, Jandel A set, this body shape. And uh, it's the most uh, classical rendition that you can imagine. But st things are starting to go a little bit crazy from this point, because the next guitar I open won't look as you used to. Uh, this one is for those who love the classic glacy old style sound and design and this is absolutely classic butterscotch black one ply pick guard this is all the features that we are used to when we look at old pictures the only addition here is the scooped back to make it more comfortable and also new bridge with the individual saddles for each string and this is the first one goes on the shelf and i guess well the guitar that defined history the legendary Telecaster shape. The most, well, simple and complicated at the same time. It's hard to explain this. And this is what happened next. Because this one, this is also a set classic. But you'll see the difference in just a few seconds. Because uh, one of the main features of Jandel guitars are they are really unique pickups. They developed basically a whole new pickup system, which is called MFD pickups. They are absolutely unique. They have different magnets, different geometry, different wiring. Leo has been searching for a goddamn long time because he ended up using German alloy, which is uh, copper with some secret ingredient added to it. He was basically all about electronics, so Leo wasn't really into like traditional guitar making into woods. Uh, he was all about electricity, wiring and pickups. And here it is. You see, uh, you can instantly recognize them by this, this, you see the sixth shaped hexagonal notch right in the middle to insert the key and adjust the height of uh, each magnet so that you can actually balance the sound of all six strings uh, always uh, and can be completely precise with this. And uh, they pack a lot of punch. They add like, you know, this monstrous basic qualities to the sound, which you don't really expect to hear from a like a Fender style guitar. But we'll hear this a little bit later. For now, I just want to share with you a little bit of history 
uh, a little bit of what's behind this and how it all happened. And this idea uh, of like making, taking the classic and making it even better uh, is basically the main idea of uh, Jandel. Because, well, imagine, uh, Leo Fender is a man who like made everything a, a guitar master can dream of. He achieved world fame, he achieved wealth, he was a really rich man by the, uh, by the 80s when he founded Jandel. And he had nothing to worry about. So what do you do when you are wealthy, known all around the world, and uh, have all the time in the world to enjoy your life? Well, basically you do the best damn guitar you can <laughs> possibly make. Uh, because he wasn't really after fame or money. It's uh, almost impossible to find like interviews of Leo Fender. He was always all to himself in his cabinet, working in his office from early morning until really, really late in the evening. That's the way he lived his life. And so he kept on living and working till the end of his days. He was just uh, like on into it 100%. And there is also uh, new versions of uh, Stratocaster. And one of them is called S500. This also may look to you like a, wow, look at this color. <laughs> Especially in the lights, I really hope you can see this really, really, really deep blue color. And there is also a lot of features here because it has also MFD pickups, which has more power, they are more beefy. And there's also ceramic magnets inside. They have this totally new uh, bridge. This one is called uh, Dual Fulcrum Tremolo. And uh, basically it's one of the first in history two-point tremolos. It was um, created basically at the same moment with Floyd Rose tremolo. And it's super, super stable. And this one uh, is actually not American made. Uh, the two guitars, two ACS I've opened before, they're actually made in America, in Fullerton. But this one is called Tribute Series and they are made in Indonesia. But they have original American pickups, original American uh, tremolo, so the most important stuff here is top notch, so they still they still an amazing guitar like to play uh, in terms of value. They are absolutely banger So let's put this on shelf as well and continue the journey and uh, actually they uh, like continue this trend of uh, Making old classic as well as new guitars with strats because they have this model which is called legacy and uh, it was actually created after the death of Leo Fender in 1991. And the name Legacy suggests that it was made kind of like a comm commemorative model uh, in his honor. Leo was into like building new pickups and new electronical circuits for his guitar. Uh, he was also still developing new versions of the classic single coin co uh, coils on Alnica magnets and he was doing these pickups in his spare time and uh, guys from Jandel Guitars uh, decided to took his later versions of these pickups and create a guitar which would uh, like resemble the classic Strat from from the 60s era from the beginning of 60s era and this one is stunningly beautiful Ash body, see-through, blonde finish, one ply, uh, white pig guard. Uh, this, this really cool, really, really vintage sounding um, classic Alnica pickups. And as I said before, this uh, new tremolo system, just because it's more stable, uh, it's more flexible and it's really intuitive. You know, I, I really like the way it feels. And you know, there are small details that make Jandel stand out from the rest of the guitars. Like, you know, uh, how they made uh, these tuners, the spec heads. Uh, so you see there is actually the cone shaped. They get narrower at the bottom and they're wider at the top. And that allows the string to kind of slip down. So you see, uh, there's actually just, the string goes two times around and it's already at the bottom because there is natural pressure that puts it down and this creates a right angle at the nut and just once again, this small detail 
allow the whole guitar to be more stable and eliminate the need for the second retainer here. This is Jendel and Leo's way of dealing with problems to make small adjustment which wouldn't be not noticeable to the naked eye but which will do the work perfectly. And it feels to me that the theme of A sets has not been explored enough. Basically, uh, A sets is the most diverse family in Jandel guitars. Well, you can clearly see why. This classic shape gives a lot of room for like custom modifications and little changes that uh, dramatically change the appearance and performance of the instrument. And this version of A set is called uh, A set classic blues boy. You know, I can really easily imagine Keith Richards giving it this name because this is the kind of guitar that he used to play a lot. And it has this beefy MFD single coil in the bridge and classic warm path in the neck position. This one is also a tribute uh, model, so uh, it's a much, uh, much more affordable price range, but still all American magnets, all American pickups and bridge and they still look totally amazing, you know, the, the wood, the maple, glossy, and it feels, feels really nice. The shape also re resembles me a lot of American guitars. It just, you know, feels really natural and hands. So this has basically two moods, <laughs> tele mood and, you know, blues, warm, furry mood in it. This one also going up. And you know, this is still not enough uh, because there is at least two more really special uh, A-sets that I want to show you right now. And one of them is so special that it's actually called well, A-set special. <laughs> this is like, for me, one of two main guitars of uh, Jandel like as a company and one of two main guitars of Leo Fender as a man. <laughs> this one was uh, one of the first really really popular Jandel models and you can see them a lot in hands of in excess if you remember this song elegantly wasted it just goes like Din, ba -bam -bam, ba elegantly wasted uh, and the guitar in this song is basically you know, it's like exploding that like, down 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 uh, it's like you know uh, like it's about to get crunchy on its own uh, about to go into overdrive but still clean you know this like on the edge crispy sound this is what defines a set special to me and this you can see this uh, also they're made by mfd technology but they are wider and they're called mfd jamba and this kind of the mix of p90 and single coil and mfd and also there is totally new bridge here uh, which is called saddle lock and you can see there is this little screw in the side which actually tightens all this all the saddles together so when you adjust everything you tighten it and they become like rock solid and all your sustain is kept right there and goes tr straight into the wood so this is one of those guitars that's like really alive when you play them they respond beautifully uh, this is just one of the, my my favorites, my personal beloved ones. Ah, so glad to see it here. And it's going on the shelves as well. And since we are moving to the special guitars, this is, well, the most special of them all. You can already find full video devoted to this one model. It is called Giandel Comanche, after like the military helicopter Comanche. This one, will strike you at the first moment because uh, it has absolutely unique look that you can't forget once you've seen it. You see this? I told you, you won't forget this now. From now on, it's going to stuck in your memory forever. <laughs> uh, this, you know, this is weird at first, but uh, uh, as you start to think about this a little bit more, you realize that you've already seen this in uh, precision bass more than half a century ago. The idea is really simple and straightforward. Uh, so I want a single coil sound, which is like bright and clean and crispy uh, and defined, but I don't want hum. And humbucker, you know, they don't hum, but uh, they're a little bit muddy. They don't produce such a lot of harmonics and 
you know, they're just not right for a lot of, uh, in a lot of situations. So Leo decided, well, I'll make humbucker and single at the same time by basically making a single of uh, two separate but little, little coils. Uh, each of them just uh, uses three strings. So it has this hum canceling effect, but still it's uh, an absolutely single sounding, sounding pickup like in its basis. And this is really the beast, like the show guitar that uh, every person I've seen before, they're going to stop and like <laughs> rethink everything they know about guitars when they meet Comanche. Trust me, this one is really, really outstanding instrument. We'll show you all of them in action, but this will be a little bit later. Right now I want to like dive deep into the history together with you and get to know this amazing guitar a little bit better. And don't forget that I forgot about the most respected part of musical community about bass guitar players. Because uh, actually, fun fact, the most commercially successful model of Jandel is actually a bass guitar. Uh, it's called L2000 and it is one of the commonly found uh, bass guitars at like studios all around the world because uh, it has a lot of switches, a lot of possibilities of wiring to achieve as well as uh, vintage and modern sound. And uh, actually there are a few different models in this big box and I don't really know which I just took out. So let's find out together. And you know what? It's actually yeah, this one has helped to thousands. This is the guitar I've been talking just now. So, once again, the MFD technology applied. Ah, this is even better. This is L2500, 2500. So, five stick version of the same guitar. Uh, basically, what happens here is they take this MFD technology, apply it to a base humbucking pickup and add the row of switches, which they actually call tritone system. Yeah, you see the, <laughs> uh, the musical reference here. And there is battery inside, but the thing is, it's actually a pace of bass. Let me explain. The only way battery is used here is to optionally boost high end. So this thing here, uh, right now it's completely off. Now it adds basically a plus six uh, decibels at high end and plus 12 decibels at high end like you known to make slap uh, really bright and metal sounding like you know clink clink that you can hear a lot just when you need to cut through the mix if you need a more uh, like classic bass sound just turn it off and you have a completely passive setup and here you can also change the way uh, the two coils behave they can be connected either as a humbucker or a big kind of single coil or like a parallel single. So these are three also completely options which resemble like a modern humbucker bass, a vintage uh, like uh, kind of jazz bass, middle position style bass and like a precision bass where two coils they work parallel. Finally you have an option to select which, uh, which coil, which pickup you want to use. So this is like a guitar three point switch. And also <laughs> separate uh, passive controls for high and low end. So high pass filter and low pass filter, which also doesn't involve battery at all. This is all passive. And once again, this uh, locking bridge to ensure that everything is as tight, as firm as it can possibly be. So this variety of options uh, is the main reason why this is actually world famous uh, studio instrument because kind of any sound you want any sound you can imagine you can achieve here let me put it here right at the top shelf moving on this one is called kiloton and as the name suggests uh, it's you know one of those guitars that when you plug in you feel like you've been just shot in your head with a shotgun. Uh, it has this exploding quality to the sound. Uh, it has modified MFD pickup and this is one of the most output, most viscerous 
guitars that I've ever seen. And to a happy coincidence, it's also in matte black finish, which is uh, actually called frost black color. And this is uh, in some way simplified version of L2000 uh, for those who don't need a little variety, but just want the most punchy bass you can basically imagine. Let's put it just right aside the L2000. Nice. So all of American made guitars that we've seen so far, they come with gig bags. And this one comes with case. So this means it's special, right? Right. This one is uh, called Option Order Series. And the rest of American guitars that we had so far, they are called Fullerton Deluxe Series. And they come in gig bags like this. And Fullerton is actually like, you probably seen this batch, the birthplace of Bolton. Uh, it's the place, uh, it's basically the suburbs of Los Angeles, where was the place of the first factory of Fender, a building which Leo purchased in 1946 to create his first amps and later on his first guitars. And actually, when he started uh, Jandel in 1980, the first thing, the very first thing that he done as the head of Jandel guitars, he bought the first factory building on Fullerton um, Avenue nowadays uh, from Fender and started Jandel Company in the very same building, in his very same office, in his very same old chair where he used to sit in the 40s. And so, you know, there's a really, really warm story behind this. And till this day, a lot of these guitars are uh, made with the tools that uh, Leo Fender himself used. So there is still the pickup winding machine of uh, Leo's design. There is still the machine that sets up the radius on the neck that was designed by Leo Fender especially for production. And coming back to this very guitar, uh, it is called Option Order uh, because it has some special features that serial uh, Fullerton Deluxe model doesn't have. And in this case, this one is called JNL uh, A-Set Classic Blues Boy semi hollow three tones and burst. Uh, so it has a hollowed out body, it's light, it's really, really light, you know, when I go out it felt like acoustic guitar to me. And it's mostly for uh, those musicians who are really like either light instruments or they like this a little bit more soft jazzy sound because uh, this hollowness allows it to sound really good acoustically and also it adds a bit of depth and air to your playing. Uh, this one's, you know, guys who love jazz, they usually just fall in love with this guitar. And yeah, this is a really special one. So, uh, however, uh, there is actually not like a quality difference between the Fullerton Deluxe model and Special Order model. Special Order uh, are made the same way by the same team of luthiers uh, but they are made by basically an individual specs, individual design. Sometimes they just throw kind of something crazy, uh, like special colors that you wouldn't see anywhere, and it also gets a special option order badge. You know, I could talk about Leo and Jandel like forever. After all, the man is a legend. But uh, I'm not going to show you every guitar here. <laughs> it will take us hours. So maybe just a couple more uh, of the most special ones. And this one is called Jandel Fallout. Yeah, Fallout. So one more kind of militaristic, kind of aggressive name. And this is a guitar with, you know, this post-punk radiation vibes to it. It's based on a Mustang shape, uh, but it has full uh, scale lens, 25.5 inches and has this really unique pickup combination, uh, P90 in neck position and a monstrous humbucker by Paul Gagan in the breeze position. This is a man who famously designed all the pickups uh, for Jerry Cantrell from Alice in Chains. And you know, he has this really huge sound and actually Jerry Cantrell plays chain dolls. He even has his signature model. And also Paul Gagan worked for like more than a decade in Jackson and he made all of this uh, super heavy metal pickups. And so this is a really, really <laughs> cool combination of uh, the fattest uh, single coil you may find and one of the fattest humbuckers you may find. And th there is also a 
coil split to add even more options for you and also set a log bridge and you know this has really cool vibes to it it has its own really really unique character and it doesn't it doesn't want to be anything else it just wants to be full out just wants to explode all the way <laughs> on the shelf and you know finally just maybe one more american fullerton deluxe serious guitar to round it all up and we've been all over the place all over the history but uh, even though leo innovated a lot during his general years still this is a company that uh, is mainly loved because it's just a high quality really uh, handmade instruments that uh, still remain you know the spirit of the old years of Leo Fender and they're still made by a really really small team of luthiers and basically uh, till this day there are like I don't know around 20 or 30 people working in uh, Jandel in total like including all the sales managers and like even the janitor and this really small team of uh, uh, basically team 10 luthiers make all American made guitars and like for example there is a woman there uh, her name is Carmen Gutierrez who is doing the wiring so he solders up everything and she is the only person in the company who does this can you imagine that every single American made Jandel except for Jandel's made in custom shop division that's another story but every serial seriously yeah, made uh, Jandel guitars is actually wired by her own really crafty hands she's been working with Leo since music many years and they still make every instrument as uh, as like you know the first instrument they ever make they still keep this you know warm attitude and really like actually the guitar shop feeling rather than the factory feeling and this is really cool and you can feel this vibe in every instrument and uh, if you don't really want to go super fancy you can always just go back to the classics to legacy HB model which is basically a legacy but with a humbucker in the bridge and an options to split the coil with this mini total, total switch uh, so this is a go-to classic where you just can't go wrong you just can't miss with this one and uh, I guess I still want to show you the rest of what's coming up as you can see there is still a lot of free space uh, on the shelves so we'll make a quick, a quick montage to show you everything and every guitar will be available here at Acoustic Union uh, every day <laughs> to try and choose your favorite one and each of them will be completely set up by our professional luthiers so the string height is okay the neck uh, relief is okay so that you just pick it up and play love, like you've been playing it for all of your life you know this is super important this is super important for absolutely every instrument regardless of where it's made and how much it costs because it's just the nature of musical instruments there can be one instrument for every player so they have to be individually set up to your own liking somebody loves the strings to be a little bit higher somebody wants it to be super super low to like shred all the way and so you know that's the reason why nobody does like final setup right at the at the factory so this is why we have our own luthier who can do everything according to your own specification but if you don't have your like own preferences uh, you can just trust him to do the best guitar you could ever imagine and trust me it will be absolutely perfect so uh, feel free to come anytime uh, feel free to check our website below stay tuned because we'll cover each of these guitars in a little bit more detail and for now here's a montage see you later